Frank Clark Fraser was born in Connecticut. His father was the Canadian Trade Commissioner, so Clark was well-traveled growing up. We spent a lot of time out of the country, from Ireland until I was from about five to seven, and then we went to Jamaica, and I stayed there. I grew up there, really. My Uncle Lou Lovett, who was, who was a sort of real horse and buggy doctor, literally, and I always grew up admiring him, and I think because of him, I decided I want to be a doctor, too. So I registered in Acadia, pre-med, and uh, planning to be a doctor. And I went to Biology one. They had two, two lectures in genetics. And I, I just hooked me. I, I thought, this is, this is for me. And I went to McGill and got my PhD. And then I went into the Air Force as a bombardier, and then I went to McGill and took a PhD in genetics, mouse genetics, actually, as close as I could get to humans at that point. And then after the war, I went back and did my MD at McGill, and then I started Division of Medical Genetics at the Children's Hospital. So that's how I ended up was both a PhD and an MD, and I was Canada's first medical geneticist. At the time that Dr. Fraser started in the area of genetics, it was really very much a field in basic science, and its applicability to medical care was not that clear. He really was the, one of the first people in the world, and amongst the very few in Canada, to think of medical genetics as a clinical specialty. Dr. Fraser was definitely one of the almost the sole builder of medical genetics in the culture of pra medical practice and in the academic aspects of that. So he is one of the people who put medical genetics on the agenda and on the map in Canada. And I have a graduate students, many, many graduate students in various parts of the world who are doing great work Dr. Fraser was uh, very highly regarded at all levels um, of international um, work in, in medical and human genetics. Dr. Fraser enjoyed huge recognition uh, locally, nationally, internationally. Uh, for, for example, he was on World Health Organization committees uh, that had to do with the development of genetics in the medical context and agenda. He was a president of the American Society of Human Genetics, a president of the Teratology Society, and he has won major awards from both of these societies. He was given multiple honorary degrees, and in one way, uh, one of the most unusual honorary degrees you can get is when you get it from your own university. <laughs> and he was given an honorary degree here at McGill two years ago. He is really one of the premier clinician scientists in the, in the history of Canada. You can't say I was a leader, I was more like a castaway on a desert isle with a, without a map. An innovative biomedical pioneer, human genetics trailblazer, outstanding scientist, and superb mentor, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Clark Fraser.